going on? What's going on, my YouTube people? Hopefully you've had another great weekend and absolutely fun time. If you were gigging, if you were just playing, if you were just shedding, whatever it was, hope you had a great weekend. So this week I want to do a lesson on another kind of like jam session special. I'm going to do a song called Crazy. A lot of people have heard it a lot of times with guitar players on these jam sessions, and that's one of the go-to songs that a lot of people do. And sometimes they're not really familiar with all of the changes of the rhythm except that you can do around the song and make the song really feel good. So this is uh, Crazy by Niles Barkley or AKA CeeLo Green. Um, we're gonna listen to it and then I'm gonna show you the chords that are in the song that I'm gonna kind of give you some rhythmic ideas that you can do around it to kind of be kind of fun and kind of make the song come to life a little bit more. So here's the song, um, Crazy. cool so like as we work through the song we see like you know the song is really cool it's fun it's it's got a lot of like cool energy in it so uh, this song is an E flat major right so the first chord that we're gonna be playing is gonna be that C sharp I keep saying C sharp I'm sorry it's a C minor 7 so then we're gonna go play an E flat major 7 then we're gonna play an A flat major 7 then we're gonna do a G sus dominant seven again C minor seven E flat major seven A flat major seven G sus G dominant seven now when the song gets ready to change the keys then we're gonna go to play an E I'm sorry a C major seven Back to the A flat major seven, then that E flat major seven, then that G sus, G seven. Okay, those are the chords in the song. So we're gonna play along with the song, so we can hear the chords, and I'm gonna give you some kind of rhythmic ideas that you can do while you're playing. Because again, like you're not gonna play this particular rhythm that's in the track. It's just so you get an idea. When it's live and it's a jam session, the vibe might be different, so that we just at least know the changes. And these ideas I'm going to give you just so that you can have as options so when you're playing you can definitely fill up those spots. Okay, so let's play along with this song. and just work to that point for the most part it's just a loop um, from the whole thing that we've been doing so that was just the regular chords that are in the song that you if you play that you'll be fine but 
we want to give you some stuff that's going to help you kind of play around it so that you're not just kind of stuck stagnant in that point. So what I'm thinking about when I'm approaching this C sharp, I'm sorry, this C minor seven, I keep saying C sharp, this C minor seven, I'm thinking like rhythmically, what like. <laughs> those little little nuggets and those little movements in there are going to help fill the song out. So it's then you're going to go to the A flat. I'm going to do a movement. That movement right there. Kind of like bluesy look to go back to that C minor seven. You could do a whole bunch of movements with that. Really recycling the same lick that the octave of. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna play along with the song so you can hear some of those ideas. Again, these are just ideas that give you options. You don't even have to do this kind of stuff. But it's so that way, like, you don't feel like you're just kind of hanging on chords. It's just giving you, like, some movements in between so you have different ideas to kind of make the song, like, move along and feel a certain kind of way. All right, here we go. talk through some of those moving and idea options that we just did so when I'm playing on that C minor 7 I'm trying to keep the rhythm I get to that E flat um, major 7 remember gonna walk up one two so on that three chord G dominant 7 I can do that movement or if I want to do like the kind of the scale just depending on how fast you can actually get that lick in just whatever you get back to the song it's just movement ideas right and then a lot of times what I like to do too when I'm thinking about when I'm playing on this song when I go to that C major 7 I'm going to go to that, that E flat minor 7 because that's a, kind of a movement to kind of like I can tie those two chords in together so.
drafts is once you understand how to play around the changes, you can do so many different kind of substitutes, if you will, different court ideas. <laughs> I'm doing is I'm taking out the movement off of that C minor so many more idea options that you can just use to build around that song the song once you understand what the chords are in that song and a lot of times all i'm really doing is i'm just taking building stuff off of that that minor pentatonic so i know i'm gonna play that c minor down here i can play that c minor down here but i know as like as a rule of thumb i can always go to that minor pentatonic so you seem to do that movement a lot because it fills up space and it's very percussive enough but it doesn't take away from the song When I'm doing licks like that, I'm taking it off of that minor pentatonic from that chord. So like I'm down here. That could be a song. So I'm just taking that movement and understanding those movements are what really kind of help facilitate that song. So I gave you a lot of ideas. I showed you the chords that were in the song. I gave you a lot of options that you can use when you're playing along with the song. Try them out here and there, rehearse on your own time so when you get in a situation, you can already go ahead and know how to facilitate them. The thing that I wanna do is just give you options so that way you feel like you have stuff in your tool bag that you can just pop out whenever you're asked to play these songs at a jam session setting, or if you're doing a cover, or if you happen to play along with an artist. You don't wanna be like just stagnant where you're just playing on the chords. You can definitely do that. do that the first time around and then start to add some stuff here and there you just want to give yourself the most options again don't overplay the song i know it's easy once you start to have an idea of how to manipulate manipulate and move around the fretboard but just be mindful enough to just know like have the discipline enough to know i want to do something right here i just want to lay back right here or i'll add some more stuff here so just have fun with the song hopefully you enjoyed this lesson stay tuned for more subscribe and tell everybody about this channel all right peace